a warm welcome to all gathered here on behalf of Panimular Institute of Technology for the AICT Atal Academy sponsored FDP on medical image processing and deep learning technologies. I once again welcome everyone for the day three. Here with we have Dr. N.R. Sankar, CEO of Chase Technologies Chennai to address the topic on life for uh, stress management, which is the need of the hour. As per the AICT Atal Academy, this uh, session is mandatory for every Atal FDP. And being the faculty, we all know how much uh, stress that we do take during this COVID-19 situation. To reduce the stress here with, we have Dr. N.R. Shankar once again with us for uh, releasing our stress. Welcome, sir, on behalf of Panimular Institute of Technology. Uh, once again, uh, I welcome you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Is it audible? It is clear? Yes, sir, it's audible. You can go ahead, sir. Okay, okay. Good morning, participants. I think uh, today we are going to deal with a topic, stress management. I think it is audible. Professor Arun, is it audible? Yes, sir. It's audible. You can yeah, kindly go ahead. I think, uh, I think today class will be very useful for the people. And after the completion, I really expect more feedbacks. And especially the feedback is to uh talk about how do you feel about this class you know because i i i can i know that i have taken many classes in uh, academic writing drafting and then uh sort of technical uh, assessments and all research so i have a lot of uh, experience sharing but of course this stress management is the first time i'm taking the class in the online platform of course when you want to talk about this I'm very much into about uh, uh, sharing once again my experience with the stress management. You know, it's a real-time experience. You know, it is a it is a very big thing which everybody has to take, irrespective of the religion. Okay, you see, the topic which I am going to discuss is entirely going to be an uh, irrespective of the religion. Still, what I have taken is that from the textbook I have given the sources at the last of this slide where I have studied about this, you know, I, I studied about emotional intelligence and all those things, stress management, and then some uh, textbooks related to psychology, okay. And of course, that is that is required. That is required for everybody, you know, even in America, for PhD people, they go for this type of stress management classes. You know, there is a separate area where uh, the stress has been analyzed. The stress has been analyzed and a lot of uh, support has been given to those people how to handle their uh, stress during their PhD studies. Of course, here we don't have it. Here we don't have that type of uh, procedures or uh, cultures or uh, methodologies or been even even uh, even informed to these uh, faculty members and then even uh, to the students. That that part is a very vital part. Now, this stress management is not a very uh, new area for our Indian culture. Okay, it is a very old traditional culture, but we all forget about this stress management. And of course, our stress managements are included in our daily, daily life, you know. But still, we change our culture that causes the stress management. Stress management, I don't think find any word called stress, first of all. See, you, you don't have stress when you understand about yourself. And when you understand about your emotional intelligence, stress is directly related to emotional intelligence. I think I, I'll just show you this slide. See, this has been emotional intelligence. Why I am talking about emotional intelligence? And there is a short history about emotional intelligence, you know. Uh, of course, I am also new to this area, and of course, when I was uh, working with some areas like cognitive sciences, I don't know how many people are aware about this cognitive sciences. There is a, 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 a DST uh, department where they work on cognitive sciences, brain, brain related studies. Of course, in India, we don't have such studies, we don't find that such studies, but still, in future, I think we need this. You know, in America and in Europe, you have these type of studies. It is called cognitive sciences. Of course, in IIT, you have this few ideas have started about this cognitive sciences. Okay, 
and of course when we when we are uh, when we are uh, how we came to this area first of all i want to give a brief history when we are working on uh, brain brain related studies when we are working on eeg signals okay we started our career you know some part of research in uh, eeg signals when we are working on eeg signals we came to know that a very big area called cognitive changes and lot of people are in the world working on this area and then i i went to this uh, uh, cognitive sciences department related hospitals of course uh, of course i am located in chennai there is a hospital called scar I, i don't know how many people are aware about it it is located in ananagar chennai scar is the funded uh, by tata uh, institutions you know tata uh, tata company has in, uh, funded this institution where you can see lot of lot of people will be coming there only based on cognitive sciences problem when i say cognitive is that brain brain related problems okay your thinking your way of activity your behavior and you don't know how to uh, intelligently solve your problems which arise in your mind and that you know when i went to there you know i see lot of people we, we did some uh, patients with psychophenia hallucination delusion and then there started uh, the career of understanding why this is happening why these things are happening what i want to understand from this cognitive sciences and it was a very big a very big area still it needs to be uh, learned from many aspects and you should have an idea of sensitivity and you should have some patience to understand about this type of cognitive sciences how your brain works and where you have been stuck up by the stress word as coming out now and what is the reason previously when you talk about uh, 50 years 100 years before people doesn't have any sort of stress now recently you have all facilities you have all knowledge you have access to any sort of knowledge but still uh, we are under the stress that is a very big problem is a very thing, very big thing is happening and now that stress has to be dealt only through emotional intelligence and everybody has to know what do you mean by emotional intelligence yeah everybody knows that intelligent quest you know about intelligency and you know about uh, emotional intelligence i think few will be able to understand what do you mean emotion everybody thinks that emotional intelligence is that when i am tensed when i am in stress i want to apply my brain no it's not the correct way of understanding of emotional intelligence and before getting into the emotional intelligence you should understand oh what do you mean by intelligence what do you mean by honesty what do you mean by your mind how your body works and of course this is this is what spoken by nlp practitioners neuro linguistic practitioners there are a lot of neuro linguistic practitioners and those people work on this i think you can check into that you know uh, valentina valentina hi yes, tell me sir <laughs> Uh, sir uh, whether my audio is clear yes sir sorry for the inconvenience and knowingly the participant has unmuted uh, uh, yeah 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 okay see now you want you want to be very clear uh, before getting into your uh, emotional intelligence you know what do you mean by emotions how these emotion arise in your body would you you should have an, uh, a very big uh, uh, understanding uh, this i have learned from valentina martin you can put it in a google uh, a teacher who was about 30 to 40 years experience she is giving a lot of online uh, uh, what i can say uh, exercises you know she conducts a, a very good program in uh, emotional intelligence how you want to handle your brain how you want to handle your thinking how you want to handle your uh, uh, emotions and then environment and all those things i have studied something from valentina martin of course he is also one of uh, one of my uh, what i can say uh, mentor i can even boldly say that i have one more mentor from us he is from computational fluid dynamics and of course he is he is dealing with uh, the same of emotional intelligence in a spiritual way you know when i read all those books for starting from all the religion you know some books you know these are the these are the mixed uh, uh, presentation from all the religions okay i have gone through at the most i can say that you know i have discussed with many people when i was working with the brain brain related studies and you know that starting from uh, many uh, organizations are there suppose this is a platform where i cannot uh, talk about this still uh, still i can give the background because i want to say that i am i am also eligible not that i am fully eligible i am also eligible to share my experience you know that is a part 
start for our uh, emotional intelligence when i was working on intelligence when i was working on emotional then when i was working about brain and i found certain things and and that is that it starts from the brain okay now we are going to see something about your uh, before getting into your uh, emotional intelligence you should understand how your brain works now i'll switch on to my studio see this is your brain yeah this is your brain okay your your uh, brain see uh, you know that a brain is the controlling part your mind i can classify this brain as mind and intelligent brain consists of mind and intelligence now you will have a very big confusion what do you mean by mind and what do you mean by intelligence brain has both the things mind and intelligence okay when you talk about mind you know what is that mind what is that intelligence oh, both are same no it is differing so i'll give a small example in your day to day life what do you mean by mind and what do you mean by intelligence see i want to get up in the early morning and just keep my clock okay i just keep my clock for four o'clock okay i feel that uh, one day before i want to get up at 4 a.m okay when the clock rings when the clock rings in the early morning okay when the clock rings you know your mind says that yesterday the mind says that yesterday i was a bit late to my bed bit late to my bed okay and it says that yesterday i had a lot of work and that type of thought is also arising and that that thought is given by your mind whereas intelligence is that no i should not i should not sleep i want to get up okay i want to get up i should not allow my mind to uh, what i can say to uh, uh, to controlled by some other thing it means that you know i should not get up and uh, you have one more mind parallel mind everybody will have a parallel mind okay everybody will have a parallel mind you know that says no you have to get up today you have to get up no i should not i should not allow allow to sleep my body should not be allowed to sleep so get up i get up okay I, when i get up that thought of that thought okay that thought is called your intelligence that thought is called intelligence i think you can able to understand of course this class is entirely based on experience and then you can refer some books at the last you can get it very clearly i'll be very clear here mind is that in your day to day life i can give a simple example see you see we go for a bed once again i'll repeat it you just keep a clock you want to get up in the early morning but when the bell rings you will you will think like this hey uh, yeah, yesterday i was not able to uh, i was working more why i will bit i'll bit i'll bit sleep you know and that thought comes parallelly one more thought no 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 i should not i should not sleep you should get up uh, there will be a one more parallel thought and that thought is your intelligence i think now i have given a very clear uh, uh, relation between intelligence you now and now there is a relation between intelligence there is a relation between your mind and intelligence how it is related see you you, you have your, uh, your 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 body is actually working as a, a processor processor your microcontroller and microprocessor okay so when you talk about this processor is that you know you have sensors okay you have sensors and that sensors are connected with the body are connected with the body okay and that body is connected to your mind and that mind is connected to the intelligence intelligence and that intelligence is connected to your inner soul engineering inner soul engineering i don't know how many people are aware about inner soul engineering this is also a type of engineering this is what now people are working on cognitive sciences see when you talk about sensors there are two types of sensors you know uh, working sensors working sensors in our body and you have your uh, you have your uh, uh, knowledge acquiring sensors knowledge acquiring sensors knowledge acquiring sensors see when you talk about uh, 
working sensors your hands your leg and your uh, uh, what i can say uh, what what through which you perform activity your genitals and all those things your anus and all those things are under your control working sensors and knowledge acquiring sensors is that taste your eyes and then your ear and your nose and your touch and all those things are uh, knowledge acquiring sensors see these sensors will give the input to the body through your spinal cord through your spinal cord okay through your spinal cord and through the spinal cord it enters into the mind it is called your brain here here mind and intelligence when you want to have a control on emotions when you want to have a stress to be released uh, the mind should not mind should not work under these things your sensor organs are knowledge acquiring things it should not take the control from this uh, parameters these input sensors in turn it has to take from intelligence it has to take from the control has to be done by the mind should be not controlled by the sensors and this is the two areas i think you can able to get it very clearly see the mind should be controlled only through intelligence and inner soul engineering of course inner soul engineering is a very big area i am not going to touch about that area and of course because it's all teachers you know you should understand i am just taking this to your uh, uh, path of uh, direction in your day to day life i'll be finally meeting to your daily activities see your mind should be controlled by the intelligence not the sensor organs see what do you mean by mind controlled by sensor organ now i'll give a small example how your mind is been uh, controlled by sensor organs how your mind is going to work it out see when i go to college i'll take uh, i'll just going to consider only the professors the examples uh, will be in your day to day life especially in the uh, field of professors because you know the emotional intelligence of the professors has been discussed here and uh, when you talk about this you know how this mind has to uh, work you know how to have the examples from your uh, teaching that will be given as an example in day to day uh, uh, what i can say uh, activities you know i can even say that the examples will be in your day to day life please don't think that it is not the uh, idea of uh, criticizing or uh, not the idea of pinpointing it's, it's just to take uh, a clear understanding uh may and that will really help you to understand what is this you know and what i am talking is totally i try to understand it is nlp it is totally nlp neuro linguistic factors and will teach all those things it is not with some uh, spirituality it is not with uh, some other thing you know it's not like that try to understand and now when you talk about this you know your mind should not be controlled by sensor organs either knowledge uh, acquiring sensors or working sensor your mind should be controlled by intelligence it should be controlled by inner soul engineering of course this i am not going to discuss i am going to discuss only about the intelligence okay there starts your emotional intelligence and all works on that area and now before getting into this i'll give a small example what what do you mean by this see uh, when a pro- when a faculty when a faculty uh, enters into a college enters into a college see the very 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 best and the worst thing is that workplace negativity workplace negativity workplace, these are all theories workplace negativity the day you start the the day you start it should not start with workplace negativity for example when i go when i enter into my bus oh this fellow is not very well studying these batches are very worst you know you continuously talk about this you continuously hear about this now you understand what do you mean by working sensor oh today my hod is going to uh, what again they blast me oh, no no know today this fellow this class headache i don't know how to do see you keep on giving importance to your sensor acquiring knowledge and that especially will be a negative part is that especially you you never even talk about the part. of course sensor as having two things you can acquire uh, good and you can acquire the uh, what i can say bad also still the negative parts has to be removed every time you know, today my job is there or not what i am going to do with my this salary and you keep on thinking yourself in your mind you know that will try to ruin your cells and this is what happening in everybody's life see where where your intelligence starts here how your intelligence starts sir if somebody is talking about something about negative you just move from that place physically 
physically you have to move if at all you cannot able to move physically mentally you have to move from that place and that is what called intelligence if you keep on thinking about your negative thoughts and your cells will, will, will be listening your words in in uh, in in uh, in uh, biology or in uh, what i can say in psychology they call it as transcendental sound transcendental sound the transcendental sound will have its own effect in your body what do you mean by transcendental sound transcendental sound i'll give one example a girl from 9th standard girl from bihar she has uh, and she has made a study uh, about transcendental sound what do you mean by transcendental sound there is a vibration when you speak something when you listen something it enters your body what he did what she did she is a very 9th standard school student she was doing a school project about the brain brain related studies what she did you know he asked some people to uh, to recite uh, their own religion songs okay when they were louder in their uh, songs you know uh, before they are recitating the spiritual song what she did it was a research uh, a, a spiritual song was being recited recited by the 10 persons see uh, after before uh, the recitation their oxygen level that is you know your uh, oxygen level your body oxygen level you know you measure with uh, po2 and that that oxygen level you know is been measured and after after your uh, recitation okay with full involvement after hearing the sound transcendental sound you know and that was able to see that a lot of improvement in the oxygen level in the body it means that every cell is trying to listen every cell is trying to listen your own words so that is what the reason spiritually people is to say that you are the cause for your happiness you are the cause for the sad you you are the cause you are the cause for your happiness and you are the cause for your your worries okay or uh, or distress and this is how things goes this is a, this is one real type of uh, research done by a nine standard study it was very really, very big uh, uh, miracle i have seen this because when i was working in cognitive radio sciences they had a one topic a linguistic cognitive studies i was really shocked what do you mean by linguistic cognitive study why they want to, i think you can go and see that cognitive sciences of india website you know every year they give 5 lakhs to do projects for our uh, engineering colleges but still people are not even de- able to understand that that area is different and even when i tried it first time i was very much uh, when i was sending a proposal to that department i was really shocked my proposal was rejected at least i'll go through first level but i was been shocked it was it was it was directly said that it is not the area what we are expecting i was really shocked then and that makes me to enter into ecg then i studied all those thing that made me to get into this emotional intelligence and all those areas so this is what one research parallel i want to give a proof of it i think it was been even posted in all leading newspapers about the uh, transcendental sound and of course this is how this is how your mind is working i think now you understand see if you avoid this if you avoid your workplace negativity what do you mean by workplace negativity is that your sensor will try to acquire only the negative parts let it be let it be your hod is going to blast let it be you go there and you face it not thinking about the uh, same thing not thinking about your superiors who are going to do something and that is 90% uh, worst than the real uh, scenario even when you go there no the things will change that is different but you are you are thinking about before entering to that problem that is called your uh, workplace negativity and even some other will think you yourself will think and that should be given a stop and there starts the intelligence now you can able to understand how a faculty will be facing a uh, workplace negativity and how your intelligence to be brought and if you want to bring this intelligence now i am now i'm listening some negative parts from my campus you know from my college you know say because you know i get lot of inputs you know and i should not be a choosy to select i should lay a boundary only uh, a positive uh, thoughts should enter into my mind through my senses and not the negative thoughts to be entered to the mind if at all if you dump your mind with the positive thought automatically the intelligence will come and this is a very basic thumb rule 
it's a very basic term tool to get into the intelligence intelligence is not that you know you just you just do your prayers you just do your exercise and you just do your uh, mantras and you just do your uh, uh, what i can say regular activities and all those things you know it's not like that only this through the sensors you can bring that intelligence through that intelligence then only you can stress can be managed okay so if i put a, a very a very short uh, diagram about the intelligence you know how it works you know uh, your sensors to be controlled to be controlled then and that sensors will be filled into your mind okay and when you have your positive thoughts thoughts in your mind automatically your intelligence comes inside your intelligence intelligence comes inside now how to control my senses not that by doing exercise many think that no oh, doing meditation yeah it's good yeah meditation is also good but it is only one it is only one by 10th part it can work it out not that when you do meditation uh, you control your emotions you don't get angry you know you, you don't get angry okay you don't get angry it's not like that it's not at all like that how many people after doing meditation in the early morning they come and shout here uh, you you and you practice it you practice why you are feel people uh, people you know in youtube you manage your stress by doing this exercise you manage your stress by doing this mantras you manage your stress by reading this and this uh, spiritual books no it it is it is it is only 1 by 10th of the uh, uh, controlling your uh, uh, emotion not no of course you cannot also control I have seen in many places you know uh, there will be some spiritual song running uh, inside the home then they'll have a very big fight then what is the purpose of having that spiritual song running in your home and fight is on the parallel side and their intelligence should be there at least oh spiritual song is going don't fight and that type of intelligence has to be brought inside your mind and that type of control will be controlled when your sensors are controlled when your sensors are controlled and when your sensors acquires only the positive thoughts only the positive thing only the positive energy that is called positive energy how to control this see the control starts the basic control starts only from your tongue tongue plays a very important role and then i think our tongue plays a very vital role i had some research on tongue it is called tongue reflexology reflexology i don't know how many people are aware i think one I have one research i have done with the tongue reflexology by using the tongue i can able to detect all the dioptic problems i can able to detect liver problems i can able to detect i think you if you go into tongue reflexology you can see this all organs are connected to your tongue all organs are that is that in olden days no they will ask you to open the tank but nowadays doctors are opening the tank you know to show the tank you know to the doctor they think that whether they have some sort of powder layer no it's not like that by seeing the buds you can evaluate which organ is worst similarly you have eye reflexology eye reflex you can do lot of research in this eye reflexology eye reflexology reflexology i'll just show you this uh, eye reflexology and then i show i'll show you palm reflexology i'll just show you foot reflexology reflexology is that everything is connected to your brain every organ is connected to your uh, sensors sensor organs you know and a heart is also can be seen through your eye your cholesterol also can be seen because some people you do some cholesterol reduction from my and you do something with the diabetes reduction from my retinal diabetes but still there are lot of problems can be detected from your eye okay if your eye becomes red very frequently you have a very big high pressure and you have a heart problem okay and uh, initially you know when you when you get your eyes you know your uh, eyes is been more stress your uh, your face will have some sort of black patches black patches and that is they say that you are under stress this is not because of your skin color it is because of your eye and then your reflexology and all the organs will reflect on your eye and your face you see said the people who are very much you know very much intelligent their face will be very clear their face will be very clear and you should have a very good mind to see that also not everybody can be able to see that the people with clear minded can able to see the clear faces the face will have been will have more attractive not that by having a face with powder not face by having a beautiful hair or cutting nothing like that by seeing him 
by listening him by by hearing his words you know you so you get some sort of uh, what i can say one one piece of mind you know that that plays a very important role and that is what the, that is what the that is what the very important thing you have a beautiful uh, voice and uh, you have a beautiful mind and you have a beautiful face by seeing you get some some sort of uh, some sort of shock you know you just make yourself some you know, by seeing some people you know you feel some sort of some calmness in your mind that is because you know uh, uh, that is because of their uh, clear mind okay that is that is a very important thing you can see that and uh, and then the, this tank reflexology what do you mean by tank reflexology don't think that if at all you want to do your meditation then you do meditation and you, you eat more then what is the purpose of meditation when you do exercise and you don't maintain in your day to day life what do you mean by exercise and day to day life how you have to bring that control the control not to bring directly on the mind it should be controlled to be done through the sensors how you do in your microprocessor do you think microprocessor controls everything microprocessor can able to control only through the sensors it acquires information only through the sensor so the controlling is only done through the sensors if you leave the sensor and then if you want to control your mind you cannot control now i'll give a small example i do my meditation daily when i sit you know i have a lot of unanswered thoughts it will be revolving around my mind you know what happened today yesterday this fellow is doing like this that fellow is doing like this you cannot control this you do meditation you think that i want to control i want to you you never you cannot never control it i don't know how many people are having and uh, having a uh, practice of meditation or the yoga or some exercise you know something you know you cannot control you cannot control because the thoughts unanswered thoughts will be revolving your head and that is what my slide the very first slide was showing my head and then it's having lot of dots that lot of dots is that your unanswered thoughts why these thoughts are coming because these thoughts are acquired by the sensors your working sensors okay your eye your nose and then your taste and your use and all those things and then it enters your mind now that will put lot of questions your brain and it will keep on uh, pricking why that fellow has become this uh, that fellow has become a very big fellow i am not giving the promotion why this is happening so this you know you now you want to control it now you go for meditation no it won't it won't it won't work it won't work because even in television you see lot of yoga asanas and all those asanas and you do this you get no no it's it's all it's all 1 by 10 because there is no person to connect the sensor again the mind and intelligence all are in different different angle when you connect and when you see this then you will become a very intelligent person see now when you talk about this how you have to start see you if you are if you are having an habit of taking more salt you reduce your salt in your food you reduce your uh, what i can say spiciness in your food and automatically automatically what happens you know you get the control in your mind because you can take you the food plays a very vital role for controlling your mind for controlling a mind and uh, a food item makes a very big control on your mind and you know uh, when you when you when you when you when you not controlling your food item your mind will not control because this is this is having an impact in actually you have your brain you have your food i have your food now if i eat more uh, vegetarian if i eat more non vegetarian what happens non vegetarian what happens to my brain what happens to my brain how why my brain is not working now this is also a one more research when when my non vegetarian enters into my stomach okay and now what happens you know the blood which is going 80% above okay above Uh, in our body now this is your body when your body when i take food nearly nearly from this is about 20% to your uh, abdomen region now when i take food all the blood will enter into your stomach now your blood your 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 uh, when they not, and then you take any heavy food you know more food heavy food your your percentage of blood flow will be 10% that is what the reason when you take your food you know heavy food you will get some sort of uh, what i can say a feel called sleepiness because your blood doesn't goes there to the brain for digestion it will go this is the system how your body is working so what happens now your brain never works when you take more food 
actually you want to control the mind and that is what when you go to any psychologist you know when you want to go you, you can identify the, the person who is really upset really upset in many ways you can see i used to see that when people eat you no know, they eat very fast and they'll take more food you know because he, his brain is now only with 10% of blood circulation because he, he, everything goes into the stomach he doesn't have that intelligence he doesn't have any sort of intelligence to control it your sensor organs now when you take your heavy food uh, that it doesn't mean that you never want to take a, a non vegetarian right? you have to take but the level is very important here everything plays with the level now normally if you take i think one religion says that a human body can able to take only 70 g of non vegetarian i think uh, this is the standard given in their spiritual book i never want to say this uh, which religion because it's a home it's a it's a it's a open platform the same thing also also done in all the religions see so you have to take only 70% of uh, 70 g of uh, uh, vegetarian of course this was done as a research in america and they have given 70 g to a person they kept an uh, endoscope and they were seeing how the digestion system is working out only 70 70 g can able to digest that uh, non vegetarian food item but of course we take more than that that is the problem there starts a problem that starts your blood flow to be stopped to your brain then how come your intelligence will work out there now your your brain is being uh, controlled by the sensors actually the sensors to be controlled by the brain but in turn your your mind is being controlled by sensor my i see that i want to take more food no mind is mind will mind has to say something do you stop it but it don't say because it, the, the mind is keeping quiet because the sensor is taking the control of the mind here the problem is that whether this fellow is controlling or or this fellow is going to control that is a problem that is a problem so now when you when you allow this to be done when you allow this to be done okay the control should be from your from your brain not the sensor should control i think uh, i'll i'll show the diagram once again see your, your sensor organ should control here and uh, should not control whereas your brain should control and that control no you have to bring slowly you cannot get it at the early, you will not get it at the very early stage it is by practice here practice plays a very big role you want to reduce your uh, what i can say food item it means that you should not be zero when you are taking anything and you should not be 100% you should be always 50% you are always 50% is good not that you are you are you are you are, you are not, not going to eat entire non veg to be stopped or i'm going to take only vegetarian it's up to you but anything you take it whether vegetarian or non vegetarian you take only 50% not the 100% you keep in your mind a strong mind you know anything i take i should take 50% if i am fully uh, hungry my half stomach should be filled if you do this you you now your mind is uh, controlled mind is controlling your sensors if you eat full not listening to the mind now sensor is taking the control of the mind and there's a very basic thing so even you do your yoga still your food items should be changed in similar way i'm just talking about the food similarly when you listen something you take only your uh, uh, positive uh, wordings and positive concepts and for positive things to your mind if there is any sort of negative part okay of course initially when you mingle with the negative area for example some people are trying to say that oh how this management how this country is going and how this is going to be uh, for my children no no this type of things you know some people are talking you no know. anyway you want to you can, if you if you are if you are not interested you will be standing at slowly what happens you will be entering to their uh, uh, what i can say their uh, their field of uh, uh, net so you have to come out that is very important and so you doing yoga is not that only one hour then after yoga you just have all sort of nonsense fighting quarreling and depression emotion oh next day i'll do more one hour yoga it's not it's not the right way it's not the right way you do yoga for half an hour okay remaining the principles to be adapted in your sensor organs either in working sensor are either in uh, what i can say knowledge acquiring sensors when i say working sensors is that your hands and your body your genital your anus and then and all those things when you say knowledge acquiring sensors it talks about your uh, nose ear skin feeling and all those things you have to control on this part so when you do it in a daily entire 24 hours then only your mind will be under control when your mind becomes controlled 
mind becomes controlled okay what do you mean by mind becomes controlled it it mean that mind is controlled is that is that okay mind is controlled is that your sensors are controlled sensors are controlled not that processor can able to be controlled unless otherwise you know the sensing elements are plugged out you cannot have your processor to be running out processor will be continuously running your mind will be it will be in it will be in uh, what i can say it will be unsteady state unsteady state unsteady state it will be wandering it will be wandering like anything it will be thinking it is thinking lot of thoughts you know unanswered thoughts and all those things even you sit for yoga also no you cannot able to control every time you get it you get it some thoughts it has to be reduced it has to be reduced. that reduction can be obtained only from this sensor control but still people think that this is the problem and i think you you got an idea how to control your mind now when you control your mind there there starts your there starts your uh, uh, what i can say there there starts your uh, intelligence that is the starting point of the intelligence that is the starting point of your intelligence when you talk about intelligence still i want to talk more about intelligence before before getting into that you know how your uh, brain works how your brain works how your brain works how your mind works how your mind works mind works after acquiring this you know how your mind works you are you are having a sensor control sensor control you have your sensor controlled sensors are controlled by your mind okay these sensors are controlled by mind okay and this mind is been how the performance how the how the actions are performed by the mind actions actions the actions are performed by uh, normally you call this disk profiling this called disk profiling disk profiling and this is of course this is a very big test done for more ceos disk profiling assessments are done for many ceos to identify how your mind is working mind will be working only in three four disk profiling this disk disk nature okay and that we'll discuss later on now i think you can understand that uh, what do you mean by uh, disk profiling i'll just i'll give an introduction about disk profiling of course disk profiling is done by americans us and uk and europe countries are talking about disk profiling whereas our indian culture says about this um this uh, disk profiling in a different way is that a mind will work in only in three modes of nature they call this modes of nature we do work only in three nature you just think about it when i write it you can understand the first mode is that goodness okay you you feel good you feel you 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 feel something good i just completed then i'll explain more elaborately and then you will have ego you will have ignorance ignorance if you take any three thing three and if you take anything in your daily activity either your brain will be in good mode goodness mood mode mode it's called mode goodness mode or it will be in ego mode or ignorance mode you take anything you take anything you just do some action you perform some duties you see that no for some fellow you will be doing something good for some your brain will work as an egoistic sometimes it will it will ignore hey, let him go ego why he is doing like this only three modes of nature is going to control your actions the sensors are giving input the decisions are taken only in three mode that is called good ego and ignorance but still here also see the percentage of goodness should be more whereas the percentage of ego should be very less and uh, comparatively uh, with other three and ignorance should be also less to be uh, frankly speaking sometime you need ignorance and of course you should not get this ego ignorance is also required why because by ignoring only you will get the uh, goodness what uh, i'm listening about the negative thing in my campus you know Uh, you say that everything negative uh, these fellows are nowadays not reading well my heads are breaking i don't know what to do i don't know what to do with these fellows my result is not good see this is keeping a very big problem you know by that time you have to ignore that thoughts when you ignore you jump into your goodness 
I think how do I don't know how many people will understand what I'm trying to say. You have to listen very clearly, and you feel by yourself. Then only you can able to understand. And otherwise, it is very difficult to understand. It it will be very difficult to understand. Still, the people who really uh, want to have a control, they will they will really understand. Initially, it will be somewhat uh, uh, non understandable concepts. E even myself, you know, I was really uh, not able to understand. I attended many programs, then I got it. And this is how your brain works. Now, when your brain is in the mode of goodness, goodness. it will automatically enter into intelligence it will be automatically entering into intelligence okay this is how this is how you want to make your brain to be controlled and that starts from your food intake to and controlling your sensors through your mind not the mind uh, mind is been controlled by the sensor and uh, the mind is been controlled when 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 uh, when 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 you see like this the structure like this you have your uh, mind as three modes of nature goodness ignorance ego now i have a very good food now my eyes are seeing it now what happens no i should take only 50% no that fellow is taking the next fellow is eating more uh, mutton now why should not i the ego comes and this should be stopped and here ignorance should be there okay i'll take only a little bit just for uh, taste and just for uh, my body not for uh, beyond that level now here starts your goodness you are reducing your you are reducing your implementing your ignorance and making your goodness to be developed and this is a very small example where you see the same thing instead of food you know you can apply it anywhere in your life okay and then when you want to get into this uh, uh, mind more uh, stress free there is one more area to be discussed before entering to that we'll see how this can be controlled and this been spoken by other uh, psychologist i'll just jump on to this uh, studio now this is the ability now you will understand my ppt very clear because you got the background of the biology of your uh, uh, your uh, intelligence now what do you mean by intelligence now in emotional intelligence is that ability to recognize and understand emotion now you understand what is my emotion how do you get this emotions how your brain is trying to uh, bring your emotions only through your organs sensor organs okay, when you cut that emotions will be stopped not that when you anger you want to control it it's a wrong procedure it's not that by doing your exercise you know it's wrong procedure in daily daily activity you have to bring this emotion to be understand and that understanding of emotions will be brought only by your intelligence now when you talk about uh, using this awareness here this awareness in emotional intelligence has been called by me is called intelligence see using this awareness to manage the yourself and relations with others if you have intelligence you can manage the relationship you can manage yourself and that is very important thing for emotional intelligence this is what i spoke just now the spinal cord which acquires the uh, which acquires the sensors um, informations and it is getting into the limbic system where i get the feel and then you know i think rationally uh, the way over here i think rationally the thinking the thinking as that there starts your uh, mode of nature okay and that should be with more goodness okay that is what the very important thing not uh, sometimes the ignorance also is required but not ego should be there ego should be zero ignorance should be there the the brain should be in the two modes either in the ignorance or the goodness ignorance is maximum trying to block uh, what i can say uh, workplace negativity and that blockage will bring more goodness this is how you do it you do your thinking i think uh, 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 this is the very basic thing this has been dealt by e uh, emotional intelligence and that emotional intelligence where this particular textbook is trying to say is only related on the uk and europe standard you know we are thinking but our uh, thinking is different that is what i have given in the uh, previous uh, notes and now this is how you you have your uh, eq eq affected by the ability to perform keep well traveled connections here 
and then i said disk profiling the disk profiling is that how your uh, uh, how your brains are working out of course according to the uk and europe standard they give this uh, disk profiling as dominance influence compliance and then steadiness of course in in india in indian culture you don't have any sort of influence and steadiness of course you call it as ego and compliance is the uh, compliance is that uh, ignorance and then when you talk about uh, uh, when you talk about uh, dominance you know influence dominance and all those things have been replaced by goodness then your ignorance and ego okay here when i when i say equality for this you know uh, dominance is that the parameter which is going to have your ego whereas your steadiness is going to be uh, dealt with your goodness and your compliance is that ignorance of course this is the profiling done by many companies if you want to become a ceo even you are uh, all ceos all over the world indians are being evaluated by this type of uh, test it is called disk profiling test whether you are suit for any sort of um, a managerial post and how do you how do you behave how much percent of your brain is towards the level of dominance how many percent of your brain is in the influence interactions and steadiness and how much percent you are in the compliance okay see the very big thing is that you have to delete your delete your uh, dominancy you have to improve your steadiness through compliance see compliance is that just ignoring ignoring should be done but still ignoring should be done based on the situation and based on the area so it is not that ignorance is is that you know when you when you ignore and you think goodness you become a saint you become a saint okay and you have to live only in the forest of course because he never bothers other about the family or relation or something like he defeats only about the goodness the ignorance should be applied for our daily daily normal living life ignorance is required but where to apply that ignorance is a very important parameter it is a very important decision making thing it is very important when you have goodness when you have ego then ego and ignorance will try to have a very big combination it will it will it will it will lead to this stress fear plays a very vital role if you have more goodness in your brain you, have, you don't have stress if you have if you have ignorance and ego and that becomes the problem of this stress it means that say i want to see that this fellow is yearning more why i am not yearning there is a very big problem in the teaching community he is getting promotion i am not getting he is getting published i am not getting published and now i am having starting an ego and that ego you know we will try to put it in different angle then at the final stage oh i cannot able to get that fellow i cannot able to beat i you do some sort of negative plans or something like that you try to do something you try to pull him somewhere you know you make it something you know there starts your ego then uh, then ego once you cannot able to beat him then automatically it goes to the oh, we cannot do anything this is what the reason your 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 your, your, your brain stuck into this stuff see now if i if I, I i cannot able to i cannot i cannot able to buy a car now here that fellow is buying a, having a car and why i am not why how he is earning how he got it if you keep on thinking about it there starts your stress there starts your stress and then your ignorance at one stage every stage will go to the ignorance stage oh once you are not able to do that you try in different way you try to put it some other way you get you try to get it you know there are two things either you will get it or you will not get it you do something and you do you you take the money you work hard you get the money or you do some wrong thing you get the money only two ways are that you get it then after two three days you know after having two three travels or five days or ten days you know you will be just throwing out you ignore it and your uh, your happiness and your comparison everything is vanished so so this is not the stable mind attitude even if you if you are eager for something you feel that if you get that particular object in your hand or the material in your hand you will be happy after getting that after three days you know you feel that it is bored and then you ignore it that is what happening in many uh, many many career of your uh, life you buy with more interest a good car you take more time you know you for buying that you work hard more then you got it after getting it after 2 3 months you no know, you leave it off and that is what the ignorance so you should not have the ego and you should not have the you should not have your ignorance to be combined you delete your ego you have your ignorance in such a way that when i feel to god okay i don't have god what i am what i am having is good 
now you feel you enter into the mode of goodness what i am having is good i don't know how we got why i want to think about it i'll just drop it i'll think about some other thing which will be productive which will be informative which will be positive so that my brain gets more positive energy and positive wordings uh, transcendental sound heard by cells now that is very important here you can you can see one more example i don't know how many people are aware about it one type of research about the wording transcendental sound what do you mean what you say it is having its own reflection i think uh, i think uh, this was been studied done in germany and what they did you know uh, in order to understand this they took a water from three uh, bowls which is our same volume same size same company same time they purchased okay and three three uh, uh, three uh, glass okay same thickness same i now they poured the water into this uh, three vessels and they just uh, um, they just uh, poured equally in the three bottles you know and these three bottles are kept in a different room you know and one room uh, they just keep uh, that uh, water and the glass the table they continuously scold uh, you are not so good you are not so taste and they'll be they'll be they'll be just saying this for 15 days continuously per day 8 hours and one more place away from this uh, glass one more room you know they have one more class they say you are so fine you are so taste and how you, you are very nice you are helpful for the world they keep on saying something goodness to that particular water towards the water and they take one more water and then they kept in uh, one more uh, place and uh, some spiritual things have been uh, narrated recited before that water now after 15 days three waters have been taken and refrigerated and made it to ice and that crystals of that ice has been studied where you were able to narrate a good wording to the water the crystalline structure was very good this was this was done in germany actually and then the water where you know water where uh, you have called that the bonds are not very good and it was not uh, tightly bond it was structure was uh, in unfinished structures whereas the spiritual thing they say that you know they are able to see some sort of what the spiritual thing done the same thing for example the structure of one uh, god or something like that they are uh, revealing it and the impact is that very simple whatever you speak whatever it listen it will be having a very big impact on your body and cells so to have your control of your mind listen only the good things and think about the good things and think about your positive uh, inputs and think about ignoring the negative workplace environment and think about the negative thing then now uh, there will be a question uh, sir then how i can earn you leave this automatically that will enter and that is the that is what you you are been framed in this world when you have they call it as uh, dualities when you are happy automatically the next will be the sad when you are sad then next will be the happy when you ignore it automatically that will come to your place if you keep on thinking it will run away it will it will run away if you want a car you know you have a goodness oh you can buy now no, uh, never compare and try to get a car you want to buy a car you work for that don't compare this fellow has got a car that fellow has a car i didn't have even i cannot able to that will make your cells to feel that more negative and your cells will work only for the negativity not for the positivity and now if in turn you want to buy a car okay we want to buy a car i'll buy the car i'll work hard and if you think in this mode you know then what about the goodness starts you will be you will be always thinking how to get the car when you work on that part when you execute when you perform your activity and by the time you know you should not think that you know how can i break the rule and how can i get very quickly there starts the problem of ego there starts the problem of ignorance mode you stop the two modes and automatically your stress will be relieved it is not that no you just compare and do it you are not doing by yourself you are your necessity say now you know i want to get a fridge refrigeration because i want to take a food and this is the way of goodness thinking i want to keep some good apples where i get cheap i can save money now i want to work for this in turn i should not say that you know that fellow my friend is having a very big double door fridge why am i not able to buy it he is getting how he is getting i don't know you keep on thinking you know you will not work really for your getting your fridge in turn your 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 normal ability when you don't think you will be you will be 70% after comparing your ability comes down to 40% and there starts when you come to your 40% automatically your stress starts 
yes yes sir this is how uh, disk profiling theory says very clearly so and that has been given as here decisive interactive stabilizing and cautious and of course these are the terminologies used by uh, uh, career uh, assessment people to evaluate your disk theory and of course this is a very big theory of your brain and now how to improve your uh, uh, emotional intelligence okay uh, what i see that is what i said what i do it is called your working knowledge and this is your acquiring knowledge and that is what the relation is given here what i do what i see okay your self awareness is required and self management is required and social awareness is required and relationship is management is required in order to uh, defeat your stress through your emotional intelligence see it is not that you know uh, on spot you get an idea they call this emotional intelligence in a different term it's called institution by management there is one more area in uh, in management sciences they call it as institution by management all of a sudden you will get a thought don't do this uh, sometime it will be very less for the people who having less goodness okay you have to be blessed to get into that oh, oh god today if i had not gone there uh, it, uh, the for example if i had missed some train oh I, unfortunately i missed the train because that train would have met an accident you you feel that no uh, today i should not go by train if i have gone it that that some sort of institution will instruct you don't go by train and that institution is called as intelligence and that intelligence will come when you have more goodness in your brain in your activity in your seeing in your visual thing and all those things i'll give a very beautiful example here how to start in your day to day life i don't know how many people are aware about it in indian culture we have posters everybody you know in in whether you are of different religion early morning you get up from your uh, your bed you know in olden days people say hey, go and see this picture of a god you see the wordings of the god if you are if you are from other religion because some people doesn't have any uh, figures uh, what i can say structures as, as a god but still what the neuro linguistic people say is that 90% of your brain will be motivated will get more positive thoughts and thinking by having the visual effect and only 10% by listening the song i can say very clearly by listening the uh, spiritual song it'll have only 10% impact on your brain whereas 90% is there when you see the picture that too in the early morning and the fresh morning when you see this picture in your mind you know you can see this we have done one test you know for this emotional intelligence i think it was done about 5 uh, uh, to 10 years before i think uh, uh we we kept a we kept a very big lion photo before the bedroom whenever you get up uh, and you see this lion you no know, every time you become anger it is having impact you have to understand very slowly you can understand that and this is a very big impact this is what neuro linguist people are making money and they are teaching the same thing what we taught for them we are the source for this i think in in, in many many uh, families in india you get up you 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 read bible or you read uh, quran in the early morning and uh, we we see some virtual photos you just paste the photos in your room in your home foreigners don't have that they have only flower photos that will not have more impact that will not have more impact. the virtual impact is having 90% on your brain and that is what you know many places they keep some photos you know some spiritual photos or some good photos and uh, wordings of the sayings of the god you know i have seen it in many uh, muslim institutions i have seen many sayings posted on the walls and of course if you are a hindu you know you have some sort of uh, uh, what again god pictures in your room and some uh, christians will have their statements or some uh, will have their uh, what again say a figure of the god and they early morning you do it and that is having a more impact that is having a more impact now this is what the self awareness what i have taught is that what i see what i do it is that acquiring and execution now in between that your brain works and this is how the four skills has to be made out and what the people talks about ai now thomas charles says that ability to accurately perceive your own emotion you should have an ability to understand how you get this emotions and stay aware of your emotions as they happen you be aware how these emotions are happening to me when i am being prone to these emotions that you have to understand keep on the top how to tend to respond to a specific situation and people 
when you get an emotion how you want to make yourself be self aware that is very important when somebody is coming to me and talking ill about something i have to just keep the priority no i should not do this this is what the self awareness is trying to say and now when you talk about this you know for self awareness improving there are some uh, uh, i think i'll post this videos and you can able to get it there are some youtube links you can see that also and now self management is that you know when you talk about the self management is the ability to uh, use awareness of your emotions to say flexible and positive direct of your behavior and that is also very important thing and managing your emotional reactions to all the situation and the people is called your self awareness when you want to manage this you want to have intelligence that intelligence comes only with the goodness okay when your brain is filled up with the goodness and now what are the triggers that makes you want to blow out an emotional gas cat you know you have uh, these are the uh, red flags and breakdowns you know by getting your email you will be blasted and you will and these are the things you know the various inputs and of course social awareness when you talk about social awareness you know ability to accurately pick up on emotions in the other people understand what is really going on understanding what other people are thinking and feel even if you don't feel the same way here your sensitivity is there sensitivity is a way, plays a very important role if somebody is trying to poking on me you should understand that from his eyes because he is having lot of fever that is what the reason he is poking on me in turn if i react to that poking and that really makes him to boost and he will try to put lot of uh, uh, what i can say uh, poking on me in turn you understand the situation you drop it if somebody wants to uh, wants to hit me you know if somebody wants to want to make a hill words on me you know and you understand that this fellow is doing because not i am really did some hillness if i sim if i he scolds me for example i will give an example if a person is scolding me now and now this is the situation now in this situation how you want to act is that you want to put your thoughts to be stopped here unwanted wandering thoughts now your intelligent things like why this is this fellow is trying to scold me whether i did any bad thing if at all i did a bad thing next time i should not drop there ends your thought stopping your unwanted thought and if at all you are not did any bad thing okay now this fellow is uh, scolding me because he is having an anger because i have grown somewhere or i have i have developed somewhere so and that ego is with him that ego makes me to give such bad things or he is scolding me if you come to that stage okay now i should not even you should not listen to his words now here ignorance plays a very vital role your ignorance plays a vital role and now either i should be in this mode or that mode if if i really done bad thing is scolding because of that okay and you have to you have to stop your uh, bad things unknowingly would have done it that is also is there sometimes you are not done you are done only good thing no what happens you know if he even scolds you know even in school you just ignore it in turn if you respond to his scold automatically his ego will increase and automatically you will be in distress and you have to approach that scolding in a positive way in a good way by doing more goodness to that fellow even if he don't understand you always keep your mind i want to do good to that fellow who is really scolding me see this is the situation if my manager is trying to continuously scolds me and you have to understand that maybe because of inability he is trying to scold me he is blaming me in turn what i have to do that i have to do only the good to good to their manager but still what people will do you know if you do a good thing to that manager even if he scolds continuously after one point of time he'll leave it he'll get that understanding in turn if he scolds you know if i go for the mode of goodness i am doing the good thing to him even if he scolds i'll continuously work for him better than what he said you keep on working for him in a better way in a goodness that increases your goodness in turn in turn there are the other two activities if this fellow is scolding i'll wait for a chance i'll just pull him in the other way i'll just put in the other way that your ego tries to work there now now ignorance is that whenever you see the manager you'll try to escape these two things are very bad but when you make the goodness you know you will have any stress if you have ego when when this fellow will be uh, uh, when you will be making him into the problem when you will push him into the problem you will be waiting with a trap and he may come he may not be into the trap 
you always think that becomes that stress in your mind and then if you keep an ignorance you you violate him even that also brings a uh, stress <coughs> it means that uh whenever he comes you will be under stress oh in turn if you do good thing even he scolds you keep on do your good thing your stress has been removed that's it that is the simple thumb rule to make yourself in point of sensitivity you understand the situation from his point of view not from his your point he is scolding why he is scolding i want to scold him back i want to make something no don't do that one what situation he scolds that is called sensitivity because i did any wrong thing whether uh, whether he scolds because i am grown up i have i am become well versed and now you know you understand that situation then you act that is called social awareness that is what a uh, very important thing uh, understanding that others mind people emotions now the social can requires that empathy is the ability to see the world from the other's point of view and to identify understand other situations and feelings and motives a very important thing its motives to be understandable and not that uh, i used to say very normally i never listen to the words but in turn i listen to their uh, mind the words are from the mind the one the words i'll understand what is mind is thinking not that the importance to be given to the word but in what situation he he feels and he he speaks has to be dealt not by the wordings and that is the simple way you called as empathy is the ability to see the world from others point of view not to identify understand other situation and um, feel things and motives and now this is the improving the uh, techniques of social awareness i think uh, it's time up for the question because i want to have the final will be the relationship management and ability of relationship ability interactions it is it is talking about interactions and i'll take only 3 minutes because i have more things to discuss still i cannot able to continue because i'll continue here. i'll try to stop here because i want to have more interactions and uh, the relationship management ability to get the relationship as i said earlier no you should be very clear effective handling the conflict is that the very big thing is that relationship management ignorance plays a very important thing whether this to be listened or not there lies your uh, relationship management ability to use the awareness of your emotion and emotions to others to manage interaction successfully the interaction should be only based on uh, positive concepts not on the negative concept people who are not either wicked or noble they are uh, they are like chef salads with good things and bad things chopped up and mixed together in vicinity of confusion and conflict this is a very big uh, uh, statement given by lemony and of course uh, you can see this in the youtube link and uh, how to improve your relations i think um, i think to seek a build a high quality high trust relationship you should have a good people around you and you have to select the people that is very important to building the relationship management that is very very important and that is very very important you know try to discover what your role emotions are playing in your interaction with others when you feel very bad when you feel that you you, you that follow is yearning more you feel your emotions are going up i am not able to do that no oh, that that has to be studied by yourself that has to be done individually assessment should be done individually if you sense your tensions or other emotional reactions in a personal body language or speak ask questions to seek to understand it is called unanswered thoughts to be answered and to quick settle dispute difference of opinion and misunderstanding a very important thing that memory power should be less in your disputes you forget it that is very important forgetting is also a very big tool forgetting is also very big happiest method of making your uh, mind to be in a goodness state if you forget what that fellow has done last week you know and you do good thing that forgetting is also makes you are to feel good by doing good thing to the others i think uh, of course these are the very uh, big abstract of this about your uh, ecp and i think i can throw this uh, i can i can i can show this uh, i can send this ppt to the organizing committee i think you can read it very slowly and i think uh, yeah i think it's time up to close because i said i have taken more time now i'll just give uh, uh, 45 15 minutes time for the discussion i'll just uh, these are the these are the sites you can get these informations you can get about emotional intelligence now i'll stop the session here and because uh, since it is a first class to me about this type of uh, presentation and uh, i want to be very clear how far uh, you people are able to understand this and really i, I need uh, i need your uh, what i can say feedback and anybody is there you can unmute it 
Nobody is there? Any doubts? Uh, dear participants, if you have any queries, you can post it either in the chat box or you can unmute yourself. Yeah, you can put it in the speaker. chat box also. Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, myself, Dr. Ami Chakti from yes. Gujarat. Yes, tell me, madam. Sir, as you told that, uh, say, our principal or HOD, they are very yes. negative and yes. talking very badly to us. We should do positive and positive and positive. Yes, 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 yes. Because the world is made up of duality. Duality says that. I used to think this way. What? Hello. Yes, sir. But uh, this yes, sir. we have done many times. That is, we were positive and we did very positive work uh. till the person was negative only. No, that and is what. That is negative, that, negative, negative, negative. What yeah, to do? yeah. That, that is what. That is what the thing. You want to apply your ignorance. You leave that thought of ignorance. Why do you feel that I am doing good? You do good, that's it. Ignore it. Why you are considering uh, uh, that you are doing good? You are, you are to make yourself ignored from that uh, state of mind. You ignore it. Why do you think about it? Why do you think you are doing good, that's all. See, here you want to... One more thing I want to discuss here is that when you do good thing, you should not expect your result. If you expect your result, one more thing, you will get into the uh, stress. Stress comes because of the attachment. You do good thing for this mm -hmm. college, okay? Don't do good thing for your, uh, what I can say, person. You do good thing for your uh, profession. Can you able to get it? Can you able to get it? It's clear. Yes, sir. We are doing good. We are doing yeah, good. Continually, yeah. we are doing good. Yes, yes. What I am trying to say, you do good, but you don't expect the result. And okay. that also will become a stress. Okay. You detach yourself from the material thing. It means that, you know, you should not, you never expect any output. Yeah. Very, very simple thing. Problem. Yeah, very simple thing is that, no, you do good thing, but from yeah. that good thing, you don't try to harvest something. You're not doing any business here. If you want your mind to be stress-free, and yeah. that should be attained only based on a results-free execution. You don't think about yeah. the result. Yeah. You leave it, you try, you don't, you do good thing, you don't expect that, that fellow should do the same thing. You leave that thought, you leave it, you leave your detachment of your result. I think, uh, I don't know, your, I'll give one beautiful statement from Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita says that essence of management, essence of Bhagavad Gita and management, what it says very clearly that you don't attach to your results. You do good thing, don't attach to your results. Good karma will return. Yeah, good karma will return. Your input will return. You don't worry about the output. You give input. Results are given by our God, not by you. You are only to select. You are, you are only to select. See, you have not brought this world with beautiful hair. Only God made you to do that. God only decides when you want to go out from this world. You are, you are, you are only to select the options, not the result. Yes, sir. You don't think about the result. See, you do good thing. Yes. I have talked so, so many times about the good thing, but I forget to say this word. Uh, I think uh, now you brought out in the correct way. You, when you do good thing, don't try to do business. Don't try to do yeah. If you do, if you start doing business, then automatically you will have uh, loss and gain. Then automatically stress starts. You do good thing. That's all. I did good. That's all. There and don't say that I did good thing. Why this fellow has not written a good thing? Don't expect. You should be detached from your results. You do good thing. I did good thing today. I'm very happy. That's it. That's all. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Sir, sir. How was my, how was my class? How, how was my class? Sir, I have. I have one thing to share with you. Yes. Sir. Tell me. Tell me, madam. You can share. Uh, uh, sir, that's uh, regarding that positive or negative attitude. What you mentioned earlier and the workplace negativity. Workplace negativity. Uh, yeah, positive. Oh, yes, sir. So sometimes what is happening is if we think, uh, I think most of us uh, might be experienced. If we think definitely, it will be happening. It will happen in our life. The next time, next moment or one or two days, it will, we will be getting it. If we are not getting it, sir. But if we think that it won't happen, then it is happening. What is that, sir? Positive is not ending with the positive result. But uh, if you think in negative sense, sometimes it is happening. If you so think, the happiest mind is that, I said very clearly, 
when you take your food it should be 50% uh ah. okay that is good for your health similarly happiness is that don't try to be very happy when you get good thing don't try to be sad when you are getting sad you should be in the mid stage that is called happiness many people doesn't know what do you mean the meaning for happiness happiness uh, you know there is one uh, degree is uh, given in north india i think uh, symbiosis a lab of happiness now it is coming out people are trying to learn what do you mean by happiness happiness is that you should be in a in a psychologically way you are, you should not be very much happy when you become good thing you should not very become very sad when something is happening bad see two things are there in this world it is called uh, one is positive one is negative for both the thing you should be in a neutral position if you make your mind in a neutral position okay and you will be very happy uh, see sometimes you think uh, it is that negative is happening why do you think negative and positive don't think anything you always think about spirituality you keep something uh, spiritual narration recitation in your mind you will you will you will never think about this positive or negative Did you get it? Did you get the point? See, very yeah. simple. You keep you keep your mind with your God. You keep everything because you are born because of some uh, some uh, some superstitious thing has made you to brought to this world. And we, some are praying with sta- uh, statue, some structures. You keep your mind in your God. That is what I say. Translation, translational sound. You make you narrate. You feel you always think about the God. That's enough. You keep your mind close to your God. okay and that will really solve your problem since you are not close to the god you are been attached to these kind of positive or negative thoughts and what happens you know you are confused don't think don't think good don't think bad you always think about the god you always think about good thing today i am doing this job i want to good for this fellow so that he will be benefited and in turn what he will give to me that you should not think if you think that's at the stress okay happiness okay, happiness practice. comes when you are neutral anywhere oh. everywhere the word neutral is very important when you are when you are so poor it is also a very big problem when you are so rich it is also a very big problem when you are in middle class it is very happiest happiest moment many people doesn't know that they feel that i am in the middle class but actually in the middle class you know that is a that is a that is the uh, that is the family where you can see lot of happiness if you once go and live with a very uh, poorest people then you understand that is worse if you go to the rich that will be more worse than the uh, very uh, very poor person of course your neutralization is very important in psychology also they keep some game you should not perform 100% you should not perform uh, zero you should be in 50% i'll give one small example ias and ips exams are cleared only by the fellow who just clears the exam not the 100% people are getting into the ias exam not the zero fellow is getting to ias post because ias is the place where uh, where management has to be done very effectively so the people who are in the mid the neutral attitude and that attitude is the real happiness did you did you get it Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. That's exactly that neutral sense of yes, sir. Yeah, you would never think about good. You never think about that. You'll be very happy. Then what I want to think? My mind is always wandering. You think about the God. That's all. Your Creator. That's all. That's all. That's all. You'll be very happy. You have to make this as a practice. Okay. Okay. And sir, you okay. leave it to your God. That's it. You to your God. That's it. You never thought that I'm very bad when I stand before you. Remember, you feel that I'm good. You never thought that why that God has not given me a good body or good that shape. That is what that time only we are getting so much stress. Yeah, stress yeah, so that, that God is not doing. Uh, yeah. yeah, you should not expect God to do that business. God is not doing any business with you. He will give only goodness when you do goodness. I don't think that why he is not giving goodness because you are you are doing some business with the situations. Don't do business with the situations. You handle the situation eh, with goodness. That's all. When you handle the situation, don't try to do business transactions. when i when i am giving all goodness why he is not giving he will give it at the last also he will give at the at the at one stage okay and that you cannot find it he decides he is the person who decides sometime you know you you think that uh, when i ignored it it has become a very big uh, solution for my problem uh, sometimes you know you, you didn't go by bus some on that day you would have thought that uh, you had gone by bus it will be very happy no that time that would have made some other result Okay, yes, that, sir, is that is also that is happening. Different. Sometimes uh, keeping silence also giving solution for the biggest yeah, problem. Yeah, don't do, you keep your God very close to your mind. That is enough. Yes. Mm. Don't don't stick on to your results. Don't don't evaluate your situations. 
on business attitude you do everything keeping your god in your mind and execute and god will try to give the result nothing is going to happen okay thank you sir okay so let me practice sir thanks for your guidance yeah, okay uh, uh, thank you any any other feedbacks you know this is the new session for me i want to i want to understand whether i am good enough to convey sir, my really, message sir unexpected presentation sir one science person like a psychologist uh, doing uh, this much uh, on continuous uh, for one and a half hours stating about uh, real time experience is really a great thing sir thank you Accept thank you thank you thank you may know may know you are from which college in the same old i padichir university in nandini uh, hello oh, sorry, sir. yesterday yes, i talked with you sir yeah yeah because i am taking classes large classes you know i forget people like i have told you yes, number yes, ah yesterday i spoke with you sir regarding I, that uh, things sir sir camera sir it was also senior, one i seen your profile in your college also i have seen your yes, website sir. it was very nice yes, very sir. Thank, you, sir. thank thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. and anybody thank somebody you. i think vijaya thank person company. like sir kelly like somebody is calling sir yes yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. uh hello hey yes, tell me i am there in the line professor hello. i am there in the line yes sir uh, lecture you said it is your first lecture but i i think it's not your first lecture no 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 i, I, I feel it is like your 100 or 200 lecture you are yeah. practicing this uh, stress management yeah yeah i am practicing so i am practicing i feel uh, sir i am practicing i am practicing yes yeah, so i excellent lecture sir i uh, from emotional intelligence you started you uh, you have explained the uh, disk manager uh, disk management and the test and all sir uh, really i don't know about this subject in detail but i learned so many things from your lecture I, it it is continuous i mean i mean i don't want to miss your single word even for the yesterday's lecture also you are so much knowledgeable i must compliment you uh, in this forum i i yesterday also i wanted to uh, tell you that you are so much knowledgeable sir thank you so much and no it is not it is not knowledgeable it is a god given gift i'm sharing my knowledge yes sir well, i don't do yes, i don't sir. i don't do business with my knowledge whoever comes to me sometimes they give money sometimes they don't give me i don't bother because i don't do business because i want to say in this forum you know some people know they give money some people they won't give money i don't bother still i'm very happy whenever i i need something i think god is giving to me i'm very happy yes sir i am from which college you are from which college sir i am from sardar patel institute of technology mumbai andheri sardar vallabhai patel bhai okay, yes okay. sir, uh, yeah. sir uh, even i have uh, participated in one emotional intelligence conference ah. uh, where uh, where i have uh, given one performance my student and uh, me have given one performance on emotional intelligence you are from management side very good no sir i am from engineering side and that conference came as just uh, it's a request from my friend that we are having uh, this this conference in mumbai university will your college participate and then that time i came to know that emotional intelligence is again one branch and where so many people they are taking part so i just uh, created one performance with my students and then uh, that is really catched by master my uh, life uh, that uh, private limited company is there okay uh, they are organizing such kind of events for emotional intelligence where uh, only i have explained about nine emotions and what is the importance of that emotions to the human life and there we got a third prize and after that i am listening your lecture and you are really uh, touched my life with this uh, lecture single lecture uh, yesterday also i uh, so many means from start itself i am learning from you and uh, really you will be my teacher throughout my life thank you and thank you very much thank you very much yes i will yes i will be in touch with you sir yes, thank yes. you you can be in touch with me you can have my whatsapp number and uh, i think uh, i think there are lot of things to be discussed with the emotional because i went to lot of uh, mentally retarded hospitals and please uh, please there. you arrange your sessions for all engineering colleges and uh, through atel academy 
even i will give the feedback to the atel academy uh, at last but uh, you please arrange your sessions for all the engineering college it is really helpful yeah uh, yeah we are arranging free of cost i think i have done for rai university i have done for some many universities i am doing even for uh, other university in abroad also we are ethiopia and all those things we are doing nigeria and all those things we do it in all the aspects but still this is my really my first lecture in the online platform to talk about emotional intelligence because and i have guided i have guided more than 150 people you know they come i guide them how to do the research i teach them i make them to learn and uh, by the time i have lot of interactions i feel that lot of phd people are under stress especially faculty yes. are under stress i yes. feel that I, i i really want to thank uh, panimalar institute of technology for giving this uh, such a topic and of course they were talking Actually, about we are technical uh, we are technical people we are engineers so we don't think much about this uh, uh, other fields right so uh, i want that you should uh, you be a initiative for all the engineering colleges you target all the engineering colleges no i don't know i, I never over... used to go i never <laughs> used to go you you are attended if you want you arrange a class we'll do it yes sir yes sir and uh, please share your whatsapp number in the chat box so that uh, we will be in touch so yeah i am just putting my uh, phone number whatsapp number uh, it's 977 and even my thank idea. you very much sir thank, thank you, you very thank you much, anybody sir. yeah Good thank you much sir. this is the this is the first day uh this is this is the first class really i am very much shocked today morning i was nervous so far i was been not nervous for taking such classes even if i go to any premier institution even iis here i go for my phd uh, post doctoral scholarship you know i don't have any fear let us face i don't know sir but today morning i was really caught fear whether i am eligible to do this whether the audience will understand my my knowledge sharing concepts whether they will reject me really it was really very happy to me to get your real feedback because you already attended emotional intelligence class and then now you are giving your real experience i thank you very much i thank you very much and thank still, you sir thank you any any other feedback because i expect one or two feedbacks Uh, sir good morning good morning sir i am janani calling from kanchipuram sir okay we are from which college no. sir uh, scs vmb sir chandrashekhar and saraswati vishwa mahavidyalaya oh, yes 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 you you, you janani no, 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 no. yeah, i heard yesterday i went as attending a session i heard you are from avadi and uh, i am from kanchipuram sir somewhere it's yeah, somewhere close to i am the expert i am the expect member for your university i come regularly monthly once i am expect member uh, for ec department and i think csc department i am the you, you do research you know you bring expect expert members we don't call us dc members i am expect member for your university i am regularly okay. coming i love to come to your university because there is a very good library there and yeah, i have okay. a library i used to go to that library whenever i go there sir uh, i just want to just thank you uh, that uh, today's lecture like, is like an eye opener for any faculty members in engineering zone and uh, this uh, lecture today has uh, made me to have some more ideas and knowledge on what is this emotional intelligence how to come over it uh, so i will be very much happy if you share me some uh, basic uh, books or basic papers to have some idea on this uh, emotional intelligence yeah, actually actually i said in the extra day class very clearly that management cannot be taught it should be learned even you read the books no you cannot understand anyway i have given in the slide i'll send the slide but still management has to be taught it is not that you, i'll make it very simple you have eyes a radiology doctor is also having eyes when radiology sees a, 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 an x ray image is is output is different when you see that you know his output is different why he is having lot of experience by seeing lot of images you don't have that but both are seeing the same image with the same eyes but the knowledge which he has obtained radiologist is an experience of 10 years so these things has to be gained only with some gurus psychology can be learned with gurus only you cannot become a psychology if you take a course from ba or ma psychology from university it has to be learned from any uh, any gurus okay i too have some gurus i learn from them but still i didn't even inform that i'm going to give a lecture like this still today i did it without his knowledge 
and uh, because you know uh, they teach they never teach in the vernacular way of reaching the concept to the people in day to day life how to handle these things are not taught by them because their level is different but what i did i observed that and i made it to understand to the level of your situation and your application i still i didn't think so i didn't even give 0.1% of my presentation in emotion because there is more things to discuss because i had a lot of fear whether this will be accepted in the forum or not and with a with a lot of doubt i came for this presentation and of course the feedback what uh, vijaya kamble i think so uh, my whether my pronunciation is correct or not anyway i thank her because she has already experienced her emotion and she explained her how we faced it how we learned and she really gives a feedback that is better than that what she has done and i think this will motivate me to do more lectures on this part i think i think and anybody anybody is there i know if mail is there to give their feedbacks i don't think so no only 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 female faculty members are doing it why not others no one mail is there mail mail uh, professors no nobody is there nobody is there to give the feedback is it so i think lot of doctors are there sir actually women are more sensitive and they, no, they women, actually express we, we, no 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 women are expressions uh, expressions we, we, is uh, giving expression is natural tendency of uh, women <laughs> yeah no it's not like that that but but the thing is that you know uh, but sir i one more thing i i want to tell you that you are so humble and you are so polite and you are asking about negative feedback also that i like most because most of the time i have deal with many high profile people but they are so egoist they do never uh, ask for anything negative they always expect positive things and you are expecting positive as well as negative feedback about your lecture so i learned that also from your lecture thank you so much so thank you thank you are you, really you. nice person thank you sir thank you thank you very much thank you i will be a, your student now throughout my life Yo, yes, I am very yes. much blessed. I am very much thank blessed. You, thank, thank you, thank, thank you, sir. You. I, th I think, I think I'll close my lecture here because nobody is there to give a feedback. You know, you know, I was expecting something from the male participants. Still, I don't find. Anyway, thank you. I'll close the session here. It's time up. I think, uh, uh, sir. Yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. As a male participant, I will also try to give my feedback. Uh, it was really a wonderful uh, session. Uh, so far, it was a different perspective when we do attend some uh, stress management or life management courses uh, uh, outside. It was just like uh, doing some yoga or they say some jokes. But we never thought that uh, how uh, science can play a vital role in uh, emotional uh, intelligence and how it plays a vital role in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, really, you took us to a different perspective. And uh, the session was uh, really very informative so that... Uh, we can also practice it in our day-to-day uh, -day life. Uh, thank you once again on behalf of Panipular Institute of Technology for uh, uh, spending your uh, three valuable days with us. Sir. I want to thank uh, Professor Dr. Chitra. I think she believes me very well. She never even speaks to me. He right royally puts my name wherever they want a presentation. I never even spoke to her. I think long, long before I spoke, but she's having more confident on my presentation and my uh, knowledge sharing aspects and uh, for her uh, level of, uh, uh, what I can say, uh, trust, I, I think I can do better than this if you give opportunity to do in uh, some other places also. And still, the participants who are there, 124 so participants are there. If at all you want to conduct such programs, I'll do one hour free. And if you want any motivation classes, we'll do that also. It is not a very big problem. We are not expecting anything from you. Only thing uh, we want to have participants so that that participant change their life and attitude that gives a very big uh, uh, feedback for us and that becomes the real output for my knowledge sharing concept anyway well thank you thank you Ramesh. thank you uh, i'll drop the call you, sir. I'll drop the call thank uh, you uh, just a second sir one yeah. second as a token of appreciation uh, just please uh, take this moment to yeah uh, thank you Ramesh. Thank, thank you sir okay. thank you once again on behalf of particular thank, thank, thank you sir thank you. Uh, dear participants, thank you once again for uh, joining. We will have the next session by 11.30. I request all the participants to have a break of another uh, 20 more minutes. They will join us by 11.30 and the next session will start sharply by 11.30. Thank you all for joining. Thank you.
the feedback link is posted in the chat box you can fill the feedback and it is also shared in the whatsapp group as well please do fill the feedback i am reposting the feedback once again as per the request of few participants the feedback link will be kept open till 4 pm please do fill it as per the request from vijay ma'am all the sessions feedbacks will be closed by 4 pm 